Hey guys, Dark Dragonism C here, and today I am going to be showing you how to make custom pathfinding in vanilla Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. So, the first thing that I'm going to show you is uh, what the pathfinding looks, first of all, because you would need to see what it looks like to be able to know if you would even want to do it or not. Um, it's the same pathfinding method that I used in my cutscenes for there. But if I hit this button, a villager just starts walking along the road. It turns and continues walking. Um, I set this up so the villager continues walking in a circle along the road. It isn't just on the road that it's walking. Uh, sorry, villager. It isn't just on the road that it's walking. It's that you have blocks underneath it, like stairs. Um, you can make this any block, but I prefer stairs, and these stairs uh, specifically, uh, purple stairs and red sandstone stairs. I just figured that those are stairs people won't, most likely won't use much in a building. So if you wanted to like install this into a world or something, because this could also be used as, like, a conveyor belt, too. Um, but, like, I'll just stand here, and I'll automatically get moved along. But a better way to show you is if I summon, like, a villager on the blocks. The villager will start walking along the path. Um, over here, he will turn then he will keep walking and then it'll just go in a circle here is just um how i did the corners uh this takes two stair per corner so i needed to use uh upside down stairs for this too but you don't need upside down stairs for that um the villagers walk diagonally And the signs just indicate where you spawn the villager and start walking. And um, as long as there isn't much lag, it's extremely smooth. Like it's a like it's really smooth. My uh, animations again use them, and I'll show you how they work and how to make. So, the uh, custom pathfinding is made with these 12 command blocks right here. Um, you can use, um, as I showed in the other tutorial, you can say, if you wanted to do these four on the top, which are the cardinal directions, you can do this whoop. and you will have the same result but I just built this before I really knew how to use these uh, and didn't want to bother with them so I just made a fill clock because that was what I was comfortable with but you could also do this and if you want you could even do like you can continue this where that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And this right here, and you could even curve them too, would be like you could even put them in like a block. In fact, yeah, you can even make something like this where it's just a two by three block of command blocks, and this would work the same way this does as long as you just activate this one. But. I'll get rid of that, because that's not what we have. These command blocks here, I have signs indicating uh, west, north, east, and south. The cardinal directions. These two are for the intermediate directions. Um, it's a really simple command. All you need to do is change the direction you're looking when you're TP and the direction you're TP in. Oh. Other maps the exact same command. Oh, and the idea of the stair. But I'll show you the cardinal directions first. 
Um, it's just a simple execute and detect. Execute at E tilde 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 detect tilde tilde negative two tilde purple stairs zero. So that just detects. It's an execute, and it also detects the block two blocks below your, what you're standing on. You can change whatever block it is, and you can also change the amount of blocks below or to the side or even up. But then there's also the actual command slash tp at e c equals one. So what c equals one means is that it only TPs one entity on the block. So if you spawn like five different mobs on the same block, it'll only TP one of them. And that's just to avoid TPing all, like TPing multiple mobs to the same block and then getting like pushed out of the uh, system. Then uh, here is just, like here is just the direction you're facing, which is what well, that is there, and the amount the blocks you're being TP'd to, which is negative one, negative point one, I mean, in the x direction. That it's only point one because it's being fired 20 times a second, so you're being teleported two blocks a second. So I'll show you here. One, two, uh, I'm stupid. Two blocks a second, which would be one, so two blocks. Um, the way I made it here is I just did the road and I put the stairs, it's kind of hard to see, but stairs underneath the road. This is the red sandstone stairs here. And the purple stairs here. I know it's darker on YouTube. I'll just destroy some of the road to show you. Um, as you can see, there's stairs down here. There we go. There we go. But um, for another example, here in the cave for my first cutscene, um, underneath here there's purple stairs. So, you, the zombie will be teleported and walk forwards, then it's teleported down and it keeps going. For this one here, there's stairs underneath to have the adventurers get moved forwards up to Bob. Um... For the intermediate directions, it's basically the same command, but you're just being teleported in two different directions at the same time, and the uh, direction you're be you're facing is uh, different. The only difference here is that, say, like for these red sandstone stairs one, you can see that it's negative point one negative point one here it's also negative point one but negative point one but it's the idea of three and the idea of one that is because with this i can't have like i can't have red sandstone stairs say like this or i'll actually show you what happens Oh, wrong direction. If you place the villager, then, or just any mob in general, I'll even show you with the player, it won't recognize this as the next block. It recognizes it as air, because you're technically standing here and here. So it won't actually work if it's just diagonal like that. You have to have it like this, which is really simple. The way I did it, and it, the way you'll have it if you copy the commands, I'll have uh, in the description below. Then you you would have to make the stairs go in like an arrow. 
So say I wanted to go that direction. I would place stairs like this. And don't worry if the stairs look like that, it still counts. See? But you place stairs like that, and then you can just place blocks on top of the stairs. And then it'll work correctly. I'll show you in a second. I could stand on here. And then it'll push me forwards. I could spawn a builder on here and it'll walk forwards. In fact, I could even do this. I could even do this, and I'll spawn a villager on here, and it'll walk across both of these. Um, remember, for the purpose stairs, or at least the cardinal directions, whatever block you use, if you use stairs, they have to be placed in, facing the block. So this would be, so it's going that way. But anyway... I'll just get rid of this, but uh, as you can see, uh, I'll show you the commands again, where it is execute at E, tilde, 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 detect, tilde, tilde, negative two, tilde, herper stairs, zero, TP at E, square bracket, C equals one, square bracket, tilde, negative point one, tilde, tilde, 90, 10. Now remember, you're going to be changing this, these, and you're going to be changing the ID of the stairs also. But you, if you don't want to use stairs, you have to at least use a block that has at least... Well, at least, if you want to do just the cardinal directions, at least four different block IDs. And if you want to do the intermediate directions, at least eight different block IDs. So you could use the different colors of wool, or you could use the, I don't know, different colors of glass or something. But you have to use blocks that have multiple different ID that have at least eight IDs. Again, the commands will be in the description in order from north, south, east, and west. And I'll probably do uh, like northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. So, uh, yeah. Hope you like this tutorial on custom pathfinding in my in vanilla Minecraft. I hope this will be useful for making uh, adventure maps or even just like little like cutscenes or even just messing around in general. So uh, yeah, hope you like it. And yeah, see you guys.